representing our 12 Titan is another incredible woman. Let's hear it for the first female to play in a Power 5 football game from Vanderbilt University, Sarah Fuller. I'd spend a lot of time interviewing football players, but never a football player quite like this. Sarah, I'm so excited to have you here. It's Thanks so great to have you in Nissan Stadium. Yes, this has been amazing. It's, it's so cool. So I want to run you back a little bit all the way to the beginning. Gotcha. So you play soccer for the Commodores. You were then asked to be a part of the football team. Take me through the timeline. Yeah, so on Sunday we had won the SEC tournament, which was amazing, exciting, and went out on the beach and celebrated. And then that night we drove back, so we got back really early Monday morning. And Monday about 11 a.m. I was packing to go home. <laughs> and I saw a missed call from my assistant coach, and I called him back and I was like, what's wrong? Like, what? what is this? <laughs> Why are you calling me? I'm going home. And he's like, do you think you could stick around for about a week? And I was like, why? What's, what's up? And he's like, they need a kicker on the football team. Would you be willing to do it? And I was like, yes, let's do it. What do I need to do? <laughs> so he was like, be out there in an hour and practice some kicks and went out there and I think I missed one. They were like, oh yeah, we'll use you. So <laughs> went from there. Had you done that before? Like had you kicked a football and done kind of that motion or were you just kind of messing <laughs> around and it worked? Honestly, I, I think it's pretty similar to a goal kick, but I really haven't kicked a football. Like maybe when I was little, like for a little elementary game or something, but yeah, never done a football, like kicked a football like that, so. So you were able to use a lot of your soccer goal kick, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's kind of a similar motion. You're trying to accomplish the same thing, get it far, get it high, right? Yeah, for sure. I think the main thing I had to, to focus on and learn was the timing of it. So it's, it's a lot quicker when you're going to uh, kick a field goal because, you know, people are running at you and stuff. <laughs> With a goal kick, I can be like, I'm going to waste my time until the ref gives me a yellow card or something. But yeah, just mainly focusing on that and, and the follow through and everything. It's very similar. What was game day like? Was that kind of surreal? Yes, like I've never, you know, I've watched football games and been on some sidelines for football games, but never been a part of it, and like in the locker room and everything. So that was an amazing experience, like to see all the fans and like that they're watching you. It was pretty cool. What was the reaction of some of your soccer teammates? Oh, they've been so supportive. They've, they've been incredible. I really love them so much. They are my family at the end of the day. So I'm so happy that they have my back through this whole process. So you've gotten a lot of attention in the last couple of weeks. What has that been like? And did you anticipate it being as big of a deal as it is that you were kicking for a football team? Oh no, not at all. I had under a thousand followers on Instagram and I think I have 155,000 right now, like overnight. And I just never expected that whatsoever. Do you understand why people are so excited about what you have been able to accomplish? Yeah, I mean, just hearing stories from like not like young girls are so excited and inspired by it, but like also women who grew up and were told no, they couldn't be on the football team. They have come up to me and told me that they're inspired by me. And I just think that's amazing that I've been able to break down these barriers and show that, that it is possible to do these things. Do you feel like you have a platform now where you can kind of get a message out or you can do things that maybe you couldn't previously? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I can see now that I have a huge influence on so many people and so I want to continue sharing that positive message and also my story because there were times when I really struggled as an athlete and I think that's that's good to hear. It doesn't even matter if you're in sports or just in regular life that, it, that you're going to struggle at times but it's how you get up and overcome those struggles is what defines you.